Hey guys, today I'm super excited to talk to you about No Hard Feelings. Now this is going to be a spoiler free review of the new film which hits theaters this Friday, June 23rd. Now, I've got to say, just from the trailers, I was like, oh, this is going to be a raunchy comedy. And while it is a raunchy comedy, it really is so much more than that. Somehow this movie delivers like really important lessons about stepping out of your comfort zone, right? Not being stuck in the past and maybe putting your phone down every once in a while. It delivers heart like that. Also about friendship, like there's some good stuff in here. There's some heart in here, stuff I really wasn't expecting. At the same time, this movie goes even further than I thought it would on that raunchy level. Now, maybe this is because I'm a parent, maybe it's because this sort of thing literally happens out in the world in the news and older people take advantage of younger people. I don't know, but there were moments watching this movie where I felt like I should not be watching this. This is kind of gross, this is kind of cringy, this is kind of disgusting, right? There were moments where I was like, ugh. Now, granted, they're both of age, right? This film follows a 19-year-old boy whose parents have uh, hired this woman, this sounds so awful, uh, who's in her early 30s, which they, that's a whole thing too, but she's a little bit older, uh, a little bit older, a lot of bit older. Uh, she's in her early 30s, he's 19, and they're like, help my son come out of his shell before he goes to college. Uh, because there's some backstory there on why he's this way, which I thought was very important to get out there. A little bit of subtle messages about bullying and stuff, but it just was like, you know, they're like, date my son. But you know what they mean, right? They mean, they mean, you know, you know, break him in for college. And that's weird to me. But the other thing is, like, it feels like there are parents out there that would probably do that for their kid like there's how this is helicopter parenting to the max but i also feel like some people would do it uh and you just kind of feel like this poor kid percy who's played by andrew barth uh feldman who's fantastic in this by the way you feel like he's being taken advantage of for the majority of the film and as a parent i'm like oh my god this poor kid like that's all i could think even though he's fantastic in this jennifer lawrence who plays maddie is so good and she's you kind of don't like her at first, or at least me, right? Because you're like, well, she's willing to like literally break this kid so she can get a car, so she can keep her mom's house. Like that's her whole thing. So she can stay in this town that she's grown up in forever. You know, all the property values are going way up because all the like rich people are moving in. And that's kind of the premise of the movie. Now I will say there's lots of laugh out loud moments, right? Our My theater was cracking up, uh, which is was a press screening. That doesn't always happen at press screenings, right? But everyone was really laughing and having a good time. And there are some great moments. I felt like every time it was getting to the point where I was like, this is almost too much. This is very awkward. Like if you've seen, there's, it was in the trailer, but I think there's even a poster of it with him like on her lap and she's basically like bouncing him like a child. It's very weird and awkward and uh, I didn't like that part. It kind of grossed me out. Um, but it felt like every time there was something getting a little too far, they'd throw in something really funny or something really heartfelt and they'd move along past it. And you're like, okay, we didn't, we didn't linger on that too long. Um, and then also you're like, they are both of age, right? He's 19. She's in her early thirties, but they're both of age. Uh, so that's not as gross, right? But he's still young and impressionable, right? I mean, he's not even 21 yet. So it's like, there's that kind of lingering underneath it for me that just felt awkward and weird and, and just, yeah, awkward and weird. That's But I think that's kind of what the movie was going for. Because in the end, uh, predictably, things all pretty much work out. And that's the other thing. This movie's very predictable. Like, you know the plot points and the beats they're going to hit. Um, and they do, and they hit them all along the way. But it it's actually... A, surprisingly charming and fun at times as well. So it's really weird and hard to describe because I had so many things that I felt awkward and didn't love about it at all. And then things I really enjoyed about it. And I was laughing out, I found myself laughing out loud way more than I thought I would. And like I said, both the lead performances are fantastic as well. Um, Feldman and, and Lawrence are so good on screen together. Jennifer and Andrew are so great together. Um, they, they really are believable. Their relationship becomes believable. So I enjoyed it. For the most part. Overall, I had fun with this. I found it to be a lot more charming and a lot funnier than I expected it to be. A lot more than I expected it to be. I really expected this to be just raunchy humor all the way through and not really have any messages. But it did. It has some good messages. So 
Listen, I give this a three out of five because I do think it's worth checking out. I do think it's fun. I do think it's charming. I do think the cast is great. Uh, there's some moments that I had to push through and I really do think it's being a parent and knowing that there are people who take advantage of teenagers that that really was, I couldn't move past that in my head. And I think this movie is definitely not for everyone. And I think some people are going to have a lot more fun with it than I did. And some people are going to not be able to get past the things that I was able to move past. So overall, I give it a three out of five. I think it's enjoyable. And it's in theaters this weekend on June 23rd. So be sure to check it out. Let me know your thoughts on No Hard Feelings down below in the comments. Are you planning to see it? And if by the time you got to this review, you already have, let me know what you thought. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.